Folks, what's good? This is your boy Big Daddy driving in the snow right now. Yes, Flagstaff is getting some more goddamn snow. It's all good. It's all right. Uh, personally, I don't know. I, I like it. I like it. But what I don't like is people who don't know how to drive in this shit. I shouldn't be talking and doing this at the same time. But, you know, what can you do? So, what's the occasion for this one? Well, the occasion is kind of fun. Have a uh, we have a listener who wishes to remain anonymous. I don't know why y'all want to remain anonymous, sissies, but all good. She found my uh, my blog spot with all my old stories on there. Plus, she said that she loves C, ooh, excuse me C Plus Studios and she loves everything what we do. She loves our social events. She loves it all. So to you, mwah, thank you, baby. Thank you. We appreciate it. Um, her question to me was. On your blog spot, are all the characters on your stories, or how can I say that, sorry, are all the characters in your stories of mixed race or people of color? And my question, I mean, good question, sorry, my answer to you is yes. And there's a reason for that. We're underrepresented, underrepresented in fiction, science fiction, YA, children's books, when it comes to liter- literacy and literature, literacy, I'm sorry, I'm fucking tired y'all, sorry, when it comes to representation in literature, we're very, very underrepresented, sure, I've read the classics, but when I've read the classics y'all, we're either seen as the joke, or we play very, very small minor parts, and I don't like that. I don't, I, don't, I don't like it one bit. I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I can go live. Read some good stories, but to see us either as the clown or the fool, or the slave maid, or filler, as like as we've been called in the past, kind of like with movies right now, where we really are up, underrepresented. I got tired of seeing that shit. Um, in a, you know, American literature as I've seen so far, working at a bookstore, is white dominant. There's a couple of writers out there nowadays who are trying to break that mold. There, there, there really is a lot more literature nowadays, being, books being written by people of color. I love it. Um, and we're, we're, we're breaking out. We're breaking out of it. And yeah, there are stories I love to read. Why? Yes, because there are people color. There are people of color in those books. I feel a part of the story now. I don't feel like, you know, I'm not I, like I, like I don't matter. I don't feel like, oh, well, we gotta put him in there because we gotta fill some kind of fucking quota so people don't, you know, blah blah blah. But there's also a lot of the writers out there who are white who don't think about people of color in their stories. They're, you know, they they write what they know. Me. I'm writing what I know. I'm writing, you know, my people. Yeah, we want to be the heroes too. We want to be in science fiction. We want to be in fantasy and stuff like that. We want we want to be, you know, we we like stories like that too. Whether you folks believe it or not, we like stories like that too. I know this was it the um urban fiction. I think well, it's called different things, but I'll call it urban fiction for now. Where we see blacks and Mexicans or Asians, whoever in predominant crime stories, okay, that's that's what I mostly see, predominant crime stories, where we're the bad guy, where, you know, the mentality of goddamn Scarface still exists to this day, which I think is stupid, I, I really, I really do think it's stupid, a movie makes a hero out of a bad guy who sells cocaine and shit like that, and blacks and Mexicans, idolize this motherfucker, hey, if that's your thing, cool, is there a lot of stories about that nowadays? Yes, there is. That's cool. Write what you know. But for me, I've tried crime. I've tried writing crime stories and stuff like that. I know my hand keeps going like this. And it was fun. It was fun. It really is. Anti-hero. Something about writing the anti-hero. It's cool. But you know, I I like science fiction. I've read comic books my whole damn life, and that, that's that's the point of view where I write my stories from. From either from that perspective, the hero point of view. Yes, I'm right. I'm driving without no hands. I'm driving on the road right now. In case you hear the boom, boom, boom. I'm, <laughs> yeah, but I, I write people of color in these stories because that's what I know. 
I, you know, sure, we're the villains sometimes, you know, more or less than real life, it seems like shit, but those are the stories I, I, I want to read. I want to read about my people saving the day or traveling among the universe in the spaceship or flying somewhere crazy or maybe do, doing something outrageous in these stories. Something that I can go back to 10 years from now and enjoy reading myself. You know, a lot of folk, and then a lot of folks who have also found my blog spot who've read the stories and they all said the same thing. Well, where are the white folks at? In your stories? I don't know. Shit. I write what I know. I don't want to sit there and write a character who's a certain race and make him, make him or her sound like they're, like, I don't know, fucking retarded or be part of the racial stereotype that you see nowadays. I don't want to do that. I want my, I want my characters to be fun. I want them to be accurate. I want them to be, you know, enjoyable. You know, hope, hope you all feel me on this. I've, I've read... I've read too many stories about blacks and Mexicans and other people's stories written by white people or written by another race. And I'm like, I don't see us acting like that. You know, we're not always thugs. We're not always gangsters. We're not always criminals and shit like that. We're not always going to the goddamn church and shit like that. I know I don't go to goddamn church. And so uh, that whole that that whole thing pisses me off when. We're stereotyped like that. So I want to make characters that I see in everyday real life. Sure, maybe it is a preacher's kid. Maybe it is, you know, a policeman. Uh, maybe a gangster. But I want to write them, I guess, more accurately, I want to say. Plus, I just want to have fun with it. I want to have fun with, with the characters I write. I want to have, I want people to maybe see, oh, okay, this this is a cool book with this with this cool character. I don't go out of my way to write certain stories and certain themes about people of color i i write i write what i know a lot of my stories are about fighting because i come from i come from a fighting background uh i come from a bouncer background i've done social work i've done community work i've done all kinds of work to help people and i'll continue to to i'll continue to write like that and continue to do so and it, it plus it's fun it's it's fun as shit and i'm gonna keep doing it so to answer you guys' questions about why I write people of color in, in these books is because it's fucking fun. I hope that answers your question. Sorry, I'm reversing in all kinds of shit because there's people on my fucking ass. And I'm trying to find a parking spot. But, so, to my... Well, she calls me, she calls me a fan. I was like, okay, so... Uh, yeah, fan... Thank you. I'm uh, I'm having fun writing these characters. Now we'll continue to do so. And in my upcoming book, I hope you enjoy it. I really do. I really hope you enjoy it. Um, so someday, maybe, you'll enjoy it too. Will I write other people, other races in my books? Uh, eventually. Eventually. Uh, but for now, I'm just doing me. Writing what I know. Having fun with what I know. Thank you for finding the website, and hopefully maybe someday I'll get to read something that you write. Cool? Peace.